Oh, that's nice. Didn't see that I was right by a river yesterday. Day one of quarantine officially begins, then I got my first meal. So welcome to my 14 day quarantine food review. I'm on other stuff that I do. Again, you can now order takeout or delivery from any restaurant. So you can only eat whatever they send you. This is breakfast. So this got to my door about 7 a.m. Basically last night, Try going to bed, couldn't sleep, so I was up working on a couple of uh, videos. And finally fell asleep around 4 a.m. And then this came around 7 a.m. Breakfast. Ooh. It actually doesn't look halfway bad. And this review is going to be a little biased because I've been starving. This is basically a lunchbox that I guess you heat in the microwave a little bit. Some of the foods in here I wouldn't want to heat because it's punch on. Okay, so I can take out the radish. I don't want to heat this. Take this out. I don't know what that is. Definitely have no idea what this is. And I really have no idea what that is. I think I know what that is. Maybe like a fried chicken cutlet, some sausage, maybe like a croquette or something. This is the mystery part. Like I have no idea what in the heck that is. It says do not microwave an egg um, on the microwave a warning panel. So I guess this is a no-go. So the microwave is basically calibrated for these food containers. It doesn't go past five minutes and the heat setting is, is taped up, it's fixed, so you can't change that. I'm beginning to feel like I, I wish I had more of these. First, let's find out what some of these mystery items are. Okay. Hmm. This thing that looks really strange. This is actually really good uh, beef bulgogi with squid. And it's really spicy. Doesn't look good at all. Very tasty. So there's bulgogi in here. There's squid. There's onions. And this chili sauce. If you can't handle your heat, you won't be able to tolerate this one. What? This is little potatoes? Turnips. Really nice. I don't, I don't think I was supposed to microwave that little thing. This thing looks like a zucchini sneezed in here. It tastes like a zucchini sneezed in there. I have no idea what this is. It's just slimy slightly garlicky pus. Don't love that. Oh, so I get it. So this is the regular bulgogi. And this is the spicy bulgogi. I like the spicy one much better. Much better. Mmm. A little fried meat pie. I can't tell which meat it is. I'm sure it's one of the animals. Actually, it tastes like a fried Korean dumpling. Got vermicelli noodles in here, a little bit of chives. A little tiny shrimp. I mean, don't expect the outside to be crunchy or anything. But flavor is not bad. My favorite, still this really spicy bulgogi slash squid concoction. Forget the rest of the stuff. Just give me more of this. I'll eat this and rice any day. And this, this is breakfast. The food portions is um, it's not a lot. I mean, this is typically what I eat for like first breakfast. But I figure these two weeks, I'll be able to kind of balance and plan out my, my, my calorie intake, my food intake. I'll be able to work out a lot because, well, what else am I gonna do? So maybe have a little quarantine slash make body better time here. It is kind of nice though. At least get a view of something outside. Well, here's the problem with trying to watch Korean dramas in Korea. No English subtitles. See, that's why you have a VPN. All right, two weeks here. Obviously, got to do a lot of workout inside the room. Now, a couple of things didn't really go my way. I bought these. I spent about $100 on these. These are pull-up bars that attaches to the door frame. Problem is, of course, I don't have a door frame. Look at this. There's no door frame here. So I can't attach it. So I think it was supposed to be like it grabs onto the door frame like this. And you can pull up like that. But you can also use this for push-ups. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. The other thing I have that is really helpful, I brought all these resistant bands with this bar so I can do a bunch of exercises and then I can do burpees. Sit-ups I'm gonna do on the bed, obviously. I would recommend bringing a yoga mat. This will be my space, this little corridor. Not a lot to work with, but do the best you can. All right, let's get a good workout in. I feel like I need a sports bra. <laughs> Time for some burpees. You gotta protect yourself. Lunch is here. Oh, I get to it after my work has done. Oh. 
All right, so what we got for lunch? Instant coffee, three hard boiled eggs, potato chips, one orange, apple juice, fresh berry choco pie, actual choco pie, another one of these lunch boxes, and custard. So a lot more stuff than this morning. Let's heat this up. Eggs go weird than I thought it was gonna be. Little sausages and sesame sauce. No idea what this is. Imitation crab. Looks like some bulgogi again. And a little bit of cabbage. That's really good warm. Bulgogi is not bad. If you order the um, normal menu items, it's gonna be a lot of spicy foods. That's how they do it in this country. These meals are really simple, but they're delicious. Definitely better than like a ham and cheese sandwich or whatever you would have gotten if I was quarantined in say the US. I wish these were salted duck eggs though, but tons of protein. See, I brought protein powder just in case I needed the extra protein, but I don't. I kind of wish they would give you some milk or something like that, just so you get a nice source of calcium. I also would recommend if you're coming here, pack enough vitamins for yourself. Definitely get some vitamin D, some calcium. I brought vitamin C packs as well. This is not bad, no complaints from me. So it's about one o'clock right now. I feel sleep just gnawing at me. I'm gonna try to push through today. So after this, I'm gonna get some work done. Maybe work out number two, and I'll see you at dinner. Oh, actually, check this out. The parboiled eggs, I think it's like a soy sauce egg. It's less tasty than a tea egg, but more tasty than a typical boiled egg. I really try to stay awake, but about 3 p.m. crashed. It's about seven o'clock now. Just brought my dinner. Don't feel good about myself. I was I was really trying to make it through today without without falling asleep. So I guess they bring the snacks during lunch. Just another rice box. Beginning to see the pattern now. So I'm thinking every day is just gonna be one of these. At least these change up. Today we have rice and spam. Be honest, this is probably the least appetizing one I've gotten so far. <laughs> it's just like three pieces of spam uh, and some kimchi and three pieces of what looks like fried chicken. Something else I wish I would have brought, some condiments, some soy sauce, maybe some chili oil. I'll tell you what though, that's pretty good spam. Well, first day's basically over. Went by pretty quick, honestly. I'll probably stay up and work out again and then do some work because my sleep schedule for the first week, I know it's gonna be really, really out of sync. These two weeks, it's gonna fly by. Again, probably gonna be the most relaxing couple of weeks I've had. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, day two, two and a half, my second full day of quarantine. I was hoping for a little variety when it comes to food and, and this this showed up. It's like an om rice dealie. Oh yeah, it is om rice. Okay, it is kind of like om rice or omelet over rice. Ooh, didn't expect to see the cheese pull around here. Today, I've got no plans again in the u.s time i am doing my prep for the first speech i'm giving to to a university so that's exciting seriously stretchy cheese hmm. not bad i think they, they buy these at the local market no they're not they're not bad food this particular one i wish it came with a side of spam or something i did find myself to to be pretty hungry throughout the day i am really feeling like i'm dieting here did it did I get skinnier? Good. My cheekbone's showing a little bit. I ate my only instant noodle um, like 1 a.m. last night. I was so hungry. My advice for this quarantine, bring food, bring instant noodles. I don't feel like that food they give you is enough to make you actually feel full throughout the day, at least not for me. So bring instant noodles, bring snacks. You will find the food variety to be lacking. This is all I do now. I, I eat and I look forward to when the door bangs again and I get my next meal. <laughs> I get most excited about the lunch package because it's got the most stuff. Honey apple chips. Oh, some nuts and fruit. Two bananas. That's a welcome change. Bottle of water. Same nuts and fruits. Nuts and fruits. Why is this different color? Chickpea, almond. Okay, so it's different nuts and fruits. That's nice. Ooh, bread. 
chilled salt cider. This is one of my favorite drinks in South Korea. A lunchbox. Pretty similar to the lunchbox I had yesterday. This is not a bad haul. Hey, <clears throat> so I think my first bout of quarantine confusion just set in like just now. Uh, by the way, I just woke up. It's about 9.30 p.m. local time. Uh, I've been sleeping all day. I've just been basically binge watching Modern Family and just drifting in and out of consciousness. I barely remember getting up for, for dinner because they just bang on your door. So, so I got dinner. I was kind of mad because I'm like, where's my lunch? Because I was really excited to eat two meals at once because I don't remember eating lunch. So I was looking around for like an hour for my for my lunch. Then I remembered I think I ate it. Well, I vaguely remember eating it. And also I'm starting to see food items repeat itself in these meal boxes. And typically you know it's dinner time when you see grass in your meals. This is the true indicator of dinner time. Otherwise, they, they kind of look the same throughout each three meals, except for this morning. That was good omelet rice. This meal, little sausages, kimchi, more sausage, a fish cake. I think this is pork and kimchi, and a little piece of omelet. I wonder if by the end of quarantine, I would get really sick of this. <sighs> you know what? <sighs> Maybe I'll go sleep a little more. Don't go disappearing on me, okay? Like lunch did. Day three of quarantine and I got breaking news. Thank you very much to Scott Evans on my Instagram who, who stayed in the same facility I did. You can actually order stuff off this, uh, this, this website called G Market, which is kind of like, uh, I guess the Amazon or something of, uh, of South Korea. And you can order it and deliver it to your hotel room and they would actually bring it up for you. So thank you, Scott. You are a lifesaver. I'm getting some bed sheets. I want to get some food and I want to get a really nice bath towel because this is the towels. Let me show have I showed you the bathroom yet. These are the towels that I give you. So they give you two of these tiny little white towels and that's what you get for your shower. Let's order some supplies. Good thing is I placed my order. Bad thing is I don't think it's gonna ship till Monday. It's Friday now, but a couple more days. I'm gonna be dining on instant noodles and canned tuna. They brought lunch and this time it's a little different. Granola bar, sh garlic shrimp chips, by the way. This, this honey and apple crispy thing is amazing. And apple, anybody, anybody want this? I don't like apples. Unless it's in a pie. This is a little different. Looks like beef bulgogi. And I'm really excited about this. Yogurt. I love Korean yogurt. I love Korean yogurt. I'm more excited about this than this. Ah, oh, so light. All right, let me see. Oh, I was expecting it to float or something. So light. This is a great shrimp chip. I feel like I made a mistake by also microwaving the kimchi. I'm actually super excited for something that's that's even a little different, which this meal is. Mm. This is so good. This reminds me just like, like a well done 7-Eleven dish. Mm. Meat is tender, good fat meat ratio. Kimchi is nice. It's finally not the same chili paste flavor that I've been eating for the last three days. It's a relief, a change of pace, and I love it. Dinner time. Like I said, the food portions are, are not ever that big. So it's just a little bit of veggies and meats and one container of rice. I'm always hungry after eating this. But this time, they gave me broccoli. So I could either feel hungry or I have to eat the broccoli. Well played, Broccoli. Well played. This is another reality of being in quarantine. I have no idea what day it is. It's Sunday now. I had no clue. And I probably got the most depressing breakfast since the beginning of quarantine. Boiled eggs, <laughs> tomatoes, cucumber, there's some kimchi. I'm putting that on top of my rice. Some mum bean jelly, radish, and plums and bean sprouts. I feel like I got the vegetarian option today by mistake or something. You know what? That might have actually happen. There's a vegetarian option. This is why. Wow. Knows everything just tastes like nothing. And this is why before you do this, you gotta bring your own food. Luckily, I still have some shrimp chips and a granola bar. Hopefully, lunch is better today. Going for a run. <laughs> Yeah. 
Lunchtime, 40 minutes, 2.67 miles. Not a bad workout. Let's see what's for lunch. Ooh, great snack. This little, little stale, nuts little stale, banana, bun, ooh, Pepsi. And for lunch, Korean fried chicken. This might be the best meal I've got so far. Korean fried chicken with cheesy corn, tomato, rice, and half a sausage. Seriously, probably the best one I got so far. Oh, huh. I'm not gonna be crispy like a freshly made Korean fried chicken, but this is delicious. A little kimchi rice to go along with it. Best meal I had in quarantine. I will treasure this moment. While I'm in quarantine, I've been watching a lot of shows. This is the one I'm watching right now on Korean Netflix. I don't know if it's on Netflix in this US, but it's a cute little, cute little show. Go, go, squid. It's about the super cold computer hacker guy who, who runs a team of hackers and they compete in hacking tournaments. And, and this girl, and they met all serendipitously. Serendipitously? Serendipitously. They met by chance. Anyway, I really like lighthearted romantic TV shows. This is definitely one of them. All right, my food just came and also uh, I got a package. I was expecting like uh, three packages, but at least at least it works. At least I know this This is something I can do. I did just get an email from um, from the site saying that the bed sheet I bought is not gonna make it until the end of the month. So I'm gonna have to what are some different bed sheets? Oh, so this came. Need a lot of protein, and I don't feel like I was getting enough of it. So I got one, two, three, four, five, 12 cans of tuna, like massive cans of tuna. They uh, they brought it up with my uh, dinner. Just make sure you ask your quarantine facility if they allow stuff like this, but uh, G Mart, they deliver. You might not get all your stuff, but you'll get some. That should be their model. <laughs> and on the side, they had like tuna soaked in chili sauce. I think tunas with, with vegetables. This is the only thing they had left. Everything else was sold out. I think this tuna with lime and basil. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, this whoops. Any canned tuna's butt back home. This tastes so good. I could just eat rice in this tuna. That's so good. I highly recommend getting this if you're doing a quarantine because they definitely don't give you enough meat. It's not enough protein, especially if you work out like me, you're trying to build muscle. This needs protein. I also brought my, my shaker bottle with the protein powder with me. I brought Magic Spoon cereal with me as well, but I don't have a bowl or milk. So this is a great way to get my protein and it's just so delicious. I'm really happy with this. I kind of wish I bought more than 12 cans. Good morning. I'm at the halfway point. Seven days has passed, seven more to go. Not too bad, I'm kind of getting used to my surroundings. I have limited space, so I've been running. In terms of entertainment, I finished Go Go Squid, and I'm restarting King's Avatar. And I'm watching this cute food drama show called Dating in the Kitchen, and I swear to goodness, this guy looks like the Asian Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That's Agent Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Gaming-wise, I just downloaded and started playing Borderlands. Such a great game. Otherwise, I've just been surviving on three of these meals a day, plus my canned tuna. I ordered four packages online. Only two has made it. I think one of them is lost and one of them is delayed. This honestly saved my life right here. I, I don't know what I would do without extra cans of tuna every day. And I learned more about what's allowed here and what's not allowed here. So there's two um, intercom messages a day that goes through like the entire, what you can have in here, what you can't have in here, all the rules of this place. It's really long, like every single day, it's about maybe 15, 20 minutes of like these instruction audio messages that plays in five different languages. So what you are allowed is of course, whatever you bring in, you can order stuff on online sites like the one I did from G Market. You cannot order food from restaurant delivery. You can not order anything that might smell so no dorian but which is kind of weird because they this meal they brought is very garlicky you're only allowed the three towels that they give you and, and let me show you the size of the towels they're not big size towels this is the size of the towels they give you they give you three of these and they give you three slightly smaller hand towels but this is it this is all you're getting you cannot ask for new clean towels and if you do want to do laundry the only thing they'll give you is laundry soap which is not bad but luckily i brought at least one extra towel so that has become a lifesaver garbage all goes into this 
bag here and they pick it up twice a day. If you try to open your door any other time besides when they're giving you the meal, alarm actually goes off. Again, it's really sad I ordered bed sheets because, you know, like I have no bed sheets. This is like still the most mind-boggling thing about this whole facility but unfortunately the bed sheets were one of the orders that got delayed and i won't receive it till end of the month so i canceled it they give you a you remember the thermometer that they give you in the beginning i thought this was going to be a new thermometer it's not it's it's used so it's kind of gross if you do come here because you got to submit twice a day on the app like your temperature how you're feeling all the symptoms i don't recommend using this so bring your own thermometer i brought luckily i brought one myself so i don't have to ew i thought this was new but it's definitely not very used and they want it back at the end of this whole thing wi-fi this being south korea is pretty good so yeah that's about it seven days flew by um i've been getting a lot of rest i i love working out even though it's in this confined little space i mean that's all i do every day i work out i read i meditate and i eat that's and play some video games it's like i'm on vacation no seriously this is actually like my vacation because i never get a chance to just not film for such an extended amounts of time so it's pretty relaxing for me things are going pretty well thought i'd give you guys a little update several more days to go good morning just finished a live <coughs> wow ah oh, thrills not having it um also bring a lot of cough drops or something that soothes your throat when you're here because the air is so stuffy anyway just finished a live speaking engagement with the university of california riverdale really nice hanging out with you guys virtually but the day has finally come so i was hoping during one of the the meals that they bring me it's gonna stand out like the food is gonna look amazing that day is today check it out they brought over look at this <laughs> oh my God. It's either a chicken cutlet or a pork cutlet. And it's the size of my face. Let's heat this up. This is the sauce on the bottom. Wow. This is by far the greatest looking thing I've got during quarantine. <laughs> Just the monstrosity of this thing. This might be the first time after a meal that I might actually be full. It's a lot of sauce. Obviously it's not gonna be crispy. I like it. I mean, I wish I had my air fryer so I could throw this into the air fryer. This will come out perfect. Fried pork cutlet. Even though the outside is a little soggy, the breading tastes good, the gravy tastes good, the meat tastes good. 100% the best meal I had in quarantine so far. Not even close. I wish I could get one of these a day. I might even find this dish when I get out of quarantine. That's how good it is. Also, another update about my quarantine. So originally I thought, I would get a COVID test when I entered the facility, which I did. Also, I thought we're all going to get a COVID test before we leave. That's not the case. So apparently for Americans, and this changes according to where you came from, Americans do not need a second test. So once my time is up here, I'm out of here. All right, well, let me get back to my cutlet. My last day of quarantine. I, I, It's gone by pretty fast, I got to tell you. And today, I got a special treat. Look, look at this. I got a lot of people asking me what my first meal is going to be when I get out of here. My response is anything but bulgogi. This is like luxury item. This is this is the good stuff. That's actually really good. It's got a smoky flavor to it. You can taste the flame. This thing should start in a Burger King commercial. Flame boiled for sure. One of my favorite meals so far, mainly because it's different. So here's how the checkout process is gonna go. Tomorrow, eight o'clock, they're gonna come in. I can't leave the room until they come in. So they're gonna come in. Uh, they're gonna put me on a bus and take me to Seoul Station, like I mentioned before. I'm having a little problem with my Airbnb right now. Um, can't get in contact with the host, so I'm trying to sort out that situation. But if all goes well, then I'll be dropped off right in front of my Airbnb, and and that's it. My life in Korea shall begin. I do want to talk a little about um, why I came here. Now I mentioned this in previous videos. So back in January and February, when I was in Asia, my plan was to actually stay in Asia for an entire year. Long story short, cases start going up over there. So I came back to the US and then things started to skyrocket in the US. I don't fear a lot of things in life. I, I don't, I never experienced anxiety before an anxiety attack or like some sort of crazy paranoia. This whole situation, this whole COVID thing gave me just it, the most anxiety I've ever felt in my life. I was in I still am experiencing stress-related symptoms. I feel like there's a there's a knot in my throat for literally the last eight months. It didn't help fact that I was staying in an apartment building and nobody was wearing a mask inside the building, just walking around. You know, people were still cramming on elevators. Things did get better after they started posting signs everywhere saying don't do that, but it's still a lot of people didn't care. And that was kind of the general attitude I felt about a lot of um, people I encountered was that a lot of people just didn't care about this whole thing. So even back then, I wanted to go to a place where the whole COVID situation 
is handled much better. And the only country I found that still let Americans in is South Korea. And then I thought maybe going back to New York will help because the situation was better over there. So I went back and also I had to give the place I got from my parents to them. And when I got to New York and yes, I was living in the middle of the woods, which is fairly safe, but I was still being dragged every day to the city because I had restaurants opening. I had partnership meetings and I still wanted to keep filming videos and I wanted to go out and keep supporting local businesses. So I tried to make that my new normal for a long time, but then my anxiety just never went away. Every time I ate out, I went home. If I have a sore throat, I was freaking out. If I was coughing a little bit the next morning, I was freaking out. And I just felt my mental health just slowly deteriorating. I'm not exaggerating a little bit. It just, I started to become this, this super paranoid guy. Like you guys saw I wore two masks everywhere. I wouldn't come in contact with anybody unless they've been tested. And that was really hard to do because again, I have meetings, I have, we have restaurants opening. And I know everybody has their own understanding about this whole virus and how seriously they want to take it. For me, it was like for the first time in a long time, it was really affecting me mentally. And so when the cases in New York and the whole US kept going up, I, I just decided I had to leave. So I'm gonna stay for as long as I can. Uh, I do have a restaurant opening, I think sometime in December, we're not 100% sure yet, depending on the whole situation, but I will stay here until either that happens or they kick me out of the country. All right, gotta finish lunch and gotta pack up because bright and early tomorrow, I'm gonna be homeless. Hopefully this will be the first and only time I'm ever in a hotel with no sheets. Comfortable though. I, I'm sure they're not gonna want me to film the next part, so I'll see you at Seoul Station. Just got dropped off at Seoul Station, so my Airbnb is still not even approved yet by the, uh, by the host. I have no money, and I need a place to store my luggage for a while. So first things first, gotta find an ATM. So nice to be like you know able to walk around breathe even with a mask it's so nice to have air let's go find some food first i'm heading towards food and the path um, that the gps is taking is pretty cool it's like a kind of reminds me of the highline park in new york just a bunch of trees rose gardens really pretty of course all in the middle of the city Ooh, look at a BBQ chicken in this little alley. This is a famous um, handmade noodle alley. So every booth here sells handmade noodles. I, I don't know which one to pick. I mean, they're all pretty much the same, but I saw this, this, this is the smallest booth here. And this auntie here didn't have anybody sitting here. So everybody else has kind of got customers. So I'm, uh, I'm just gonna eat here, keep her company. First bite of noodles in two weeks. That's handmade. So much chew and texture. Oh, I missed a good bowl of noodles. Great kimchi. <clears throat> Slices of mushy potatoes. <clears throat> this is an alley everyone should come to when you're at this market. Everything is just so fresh. It's so nice, she gave me some uh, cold noodles to try as well. Mm. That is just beyond delicious. I love Korean cold noodles. That is so good. Uh, I can't even believe I'm sitting here in Korea eating fresh noodles in a, one of my favorite markets. Also some of the best cold noodles you'll find anywhere. That's about as local as you can get. Oh, and the dumplings here are great too. I'm probably more familiar with this market than any other market in Korea. A sweet bean bun. I actually asked for three kimchi buns. You give me a sweet bean bun. I have one of them with a kimchi bun. Got that sinking feeling I might have not got a kimchi bun. 
Three red bean buns. They're good, but I'm a little bummed out. I wasn't ready for dessert yet. Still really good though. Wow, even with just the locals. Look at the line for this crazy famous hot dog stand. I got a sweet one and a savory one. That is so good. That is so good. Chives, carrots, vermicelli. You gotta have them add some of that sauce. The skin is the magical element to the stamp. It's so crispy, airy, and scrumptious. That is melting your mouth. The sweet one is my favorite. Look at that little puffy thing. <laughs> It's like biting into the crispiest, lightest, airiest little donut. Mm. When you get into the ingredients, you get hit with a burst of cinnamon and honey and that great aromic sesame flavor. My God, I have this. It's one of my all-time favorite street foods in this country. Plus, only a buck. Hey, you up. Hey, buck. I finally booked a place on Airbnb. This is the third booking I made. Hopefully this place is all right. Let's go take a look. This is my neighborhood for the next month and a half, at least. Welcome to Hyundai. And this neighborhood is great because it's in the middle of all these great restaurants and street food and all these crazy nightlife. Like, I don't really partake in clubs or bars, but I love the food around here. Not too bad. Kind of an older house, but floors are clean. That's what the lack of bed sheets in this country. Plenty of space. I really wanted a table. Balcony with a washing machine and uh, Asian dryers. Stove that I'm actually gonna use this time? Well, not much of a view. Not bad though, and honestly, I'm just happy I have a place. I've been homeless for most of today, not knowing if I actually find a place tonight. All right, I'm gonna get settled and uh, go grab some dinner. The happiness I'm feeling right now is just indescribable. There's a bubble tea place, cafe right next door. Look at this. Bingsu shaved ice, street food. All this within two walking minutes. <laughs> so I love this neighborhood. So I calculated this. 42 meals of rice, every meal. I need this. And honestly, this is not too shabby. I'm really picky about my pizzas, but crust is thin, is nice. Cheese could be better, but kind of reminds me of a New York pie. I only want to do one thing after this, go buy some bed sheets. I feel like I haven't seen them in a long time and I need them. $50. I can't find sheets here. It's just mattress covers and I'm not spending $50 on a duvet cover. Next time I come to this country, I'm bringing my own sheets. I just realized this place by my house, it's so bing. One of the best bingsu places in South Korea. This this is a magical dessert. Mm. If you ever crave fresh snow, lightest, powderiest of snow, any time of the year, let's come to this place and get some bean soup. Mm. This is the classic dry green powder, a little almond, a little mochi. I really consider this my first real day back in South Korea. And looking around, um, things are pretty normal. Like people walk around, everybody has a mask on, everyone wears a mask here. And everywhere I went to, if I'm eating inside, I have to sign in my name, I have to put a phone number down. And that's for just in case somebody tests positive, you can be traced, which I think is a great idea. People are still taking precaution, like there's hand sanitizers everywhere. Like I said, every single person that I ran into has a mask on. I mean, not when they're eating, but when they're walking around outside or walking around indoors. And even though the whole quarantine thing may seem really strict and you know i did my fair share of whining in the hotel room i'm really glad they have that protocol in place i mean i feel better that people are coming in and going through the same process that i went through oh these couple months i'm gonna just 
you know, take it easy. I'm gonna go outside and film when I wanna film. Otherwise, I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna enjoy this country. It's fall weather right now. I'm gonna go on some hikes. I'm gonna not film as much. Just kind of go on a mental health break. And I know so many people out there are going through similar mental struggles as myself. So wherever you are, you know, find time to take it easy. You know, go meditate a bit. Just take time out. Just take care of yourself. Anyway, that's a look at what the two-week quarantine process is like in South Korea. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.